Thank you, Hezbon, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Ruto, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, uh, the Honorable Rigadi Gachagua, the Cabinet Secretaries present, led by my Cabinet Secretary, Honorable Professor Kindiki, and the rest of the CSS, uh, Waziri Owalo, my PS colleagues, the Honorable Members of Parliament, and all the dignitaries who are here today. Good afternoon. Good afternoon once again. Your Excellency, because of time, I will try and uh, move very fast so that uh, we make the benefit of your presence here. So first of all, allow me to invite all the PSS. Please just be upstanding and uh, come in front. And as you come in front, uh, our Dean, P.S. Uh, Dubat. Your Excellency, this is important because it's important for the people of Homer Bay to know the colleagues that I serve with in your administration. Now, P.S. Uh, Dubat, just come here. And it's a whole battalion of P.S.S. It's not every other day you get uh, all these PSS to come to visit. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Omolo. Your Excellency the President, uh, Your Excellency the Deputy President, uh, all protocols observed. Uh, it's an honor uh, bestowed upon me by my colleagues as their dean. Uh, allow me to do a quick introduction. I'll call the name of the PS, and then they can just wave as they take the seat. I'll start with my Deputy Dean, Madam Mary. Uh, uh, Murioki, uh, she is the PS for Public Health and Professional Standards. Mustana uh, Kutoka Kirinjaga, Your Excellency. Followed by Ambassador Julius Bitok, who is the PS for Immigration and Citizen Services. Wakutoka Wasingishu. Your Excellency, we have Veronica Ndova, she is our PS for Gender. Mustana Kutoka Machakos County. Your Excellency, we have John Tanui, our PS for ICT, Kutoka Baringo. Your Excellency, we have this lovely lady, Rosalind Njogu, our PS for Diaspora, Murembo Kutoka Meru County. Your Excellency, we have my colleague, Alfred Kombudo, from just here, Kisumu County, our PS for Trade. <laughs> Your Excellency, we have Umi Bashir, who is our PS for Culture and Heritage, Murembo Kutoka Wajia County. Your Excellency, we have Joseph Motari, uh, PS for Social Protection, our PS from just here, Migori uh, County. Your Excellency, we have Abu Bakar Hassan uh, Abu Bakar from Lamu County, our PS for Investments Promotion. Your Excellency, we have Dr. Chris Kipto, our PS for the National Treasury, Kutoka Elgeo Marakwet. Your Excellency, we have James Muhati, PS for Economic Planning, Kutoka Kakamega County. Your Excellency, we have our new PS, uh, you just appointed her the other day, Salome uh, Biako. She's our PS for Correctional Services, and she's from Kiambu County. Your Excellency, we have Joel Aromayong, PS for Public Works. Kijana Kutoka, West Pokot. Your Excellency, we, we have Patrick Marero, who is our PS for Defense from Laikipia. Your Excellency, we have Teresia Mbaika, our PS for Devolution from Makweni County. Your Excellency, we have Elijah Mwangi, our PS for Mining from Muraga County. Your Excellency, we have Shadrach Mwadime, our PS for Maritime and Shipping from Taita Taveta County. Your Excellency, we have Jonathan Mweke, our PS for Livestock from Kitui County. Your Excellency, we have Dr. Beatrice Inyangala, our PS for Higher Education from Justia Kakamega County. Your Excellency, we have Dr. Idris Dokota. He is my colleague in the ministry. He is a PS for ASALS and Regional Development from Tanariva County. He is also my neighbor. 
Your Excellency, we have Engineer Joseph Mbogwa, Kijana wa Kinanga of Nyandarwa, is our PS for roads. Your Excellency, we have Harsama Makelo, PS for crop development from Marsabit County. Your Excellency, we have John Oba, a PS for tourism. He is from Narok County. Your Excellency, we have Esther Moria, our PS for TVETS. She is from Embu County. Your Excellency, we have Mohamed Liwan, our PS for petroleum. He is from Isiolo County. Your Excellency, we have Betsy Njagi, our PS for blue economy and the fisheries. And she is from Tarakandithi. Your Excellency, we have Hari Kimutai, our PS for medical services. Kutoka Mount Elgon, Hapa Bungoma County. Your Excellency, we have Engineer Festus K. Ngeno, our PS for Environment and Climate Change from Nakuru County. And lastly, Your Excellency, we have Alex Washira, our PS for Energy, Kijana Wakieni, Nyeri County. Your Excellency, my name is Abdi Dubat. I'm the PS for East African Community Affairs from Garissa County. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Raymond. Yes, Dubat, Nikama Mekwa Monasiasa. Because you are able to introduce literally everyone by name and where they come from. Your Excellency, allow me to also acknowledge in a special way, of course, the family members who have already been introduced, but also a host of friends and colleagues who work with us in government, both uh, in the, uh, with the parastatals but more importantly, the Ministry of Interior and National Administration. I welcome you in a special way to uh, Homa Bay County. Let me also acknowledge the presence of CARE for Luo Nation. Jaduong Nyandiko Ongade. Chunga chunga kanyo fuane CARE, fuane jo Kenya, ero kamano. Thank you, thank you, Jaduong. Now, Your Excellency, today is a very special day for me. It's special in very many respects. It's exactly 35 years ago today when we lost our dad. I was eight years old then. And uh, Hezbon has introduced the rest of the family. And we have been able to experience what it means to lack to sleep on an empty stomach, and to go to bed not knowing what tomorrow holds. What has kept us going still, and still keeps me strong, is our faith and hope in God. Mr. President, growing up in this village, like most part of, of the country, we faced a lot of challenges. And these challenges have shaped my outlook to life and people. When I look back, I say to myself that nothing beats the love of God, humility, dedication, discipline, respect, and a clear sense of purpose in life. And today, being in this school is equally symbolic, as there is no greater equalizer in life than education. As the Omolos, we have gathered here to praise and give thanks to the Almighty for his mercies, love, and the blessings that he's had upon us. This far, he's brought us. We stand to glorify him for peace or for grace upon me, which he has executed through your hand and love. That this tiny village today has the honor to host you as a president and the commander in chief of the Republic of the Defense Forces, the distinguished guests, dignitaries, and colleagues, friends, and family. It's also special because it's a Sabbath day. And as an Adventist, there is no better day to say thanks to the Lord than today. It's also a special opportunity for me to make public pronouncement of gratitude to you before my kinsmen and women, my church and the people of Kenya. Accept my appreciation of love, <laughs> gratitude and honor to you for the special consideration and responsibility that you've given me to serve in your administration. As we sit today, I can still clearly remember one of the very first personal encounters we had. And this was way back in November 2018, 
when I had a special personal request to make to you. In that day, a number of leaders from this region were there, but notably there was the Honorable James Rege, who was the MP for Karachonyo then, the Honorable Ogindo, who is here with us today, the Honorable Anyanga, who is also here with us today. And that became a turning point in my life. And when I look back, probably if that encounter did ha didn't happen, we wouldn't be here today. And I still remember vividly that interaction. And it was also made possible by one Honorable Kipchumba Murkomen, the CS for Roads and Transport, whom I've known since our days at the university. And we discussed a lot of things, and a lot of things came out of it. Because of time, I would not want to go into the details of that. But during my time, and when I talked to friends and family, one thing I remember I kept telling them, that there's only one politician I know in this country, who when he tells you that he's going to do something, you can go and sleep soundly. And you wake up the following day, and he will do exactly as you discussed and agreed. And that is yourself, Mr. President, the Honorable <laughs> William Samway Ruto. It is something that is deficient in this country, and for that, I continue to pray and thank God for you. Your Excellency, I have had the privilege to serve now for close to seven months as your PS in charge of internal security and national administration, and I've noted that you are a good and practical tutor. You are a marathon worker, dedicated and committed to speed and excellence. I am a good student. I'm ready to learn and do. I will be ready and committed 24-7. I will honestly spearhead the quest to adopt citizen-centric approaches to service delivery in the spirit of your bottom-up economic transformation model. As a ministry, we will spearhead community engagement and all of government approach that brings various government institutions together to deliver public services in implementation of your programs and projects. There are a number of things we've been able to accomplish and it's all for all of us to see. Finally, I want to end by expressing my sincere gratitude to you, to God, to church, to the family who continue to pray and support me in my work of delivering for the country. Thank you. Your Excellency, allow me to invite uh, the Honorable C.S. Owalo to make, uh, in introduce the CSS and make uh, a few comments, and then invite the Honorable Carolio Mondi. Thank you.